hello my friends and welcome welcome to the last video of 2021 here is my famous grail fountain pen of 2021 this is the first fountain pen that uh, i had the opportunity to add to my collection it is a limited edition of uh, Delta fountain pen from Italy. If you are not familiar with this uh, company, Delta fountain pens, uh, this is uh, the logo of the company. It was founded in 1983 and they are well known for their well executed fountain pens. They use quite, quite nice materials and they had some more problems till recently when they restarted their business uh, delta fountain pens this was their logo and artigiani della scrittura delta italy this is the limited edition of napoleone bonaparte a nice edition which was launched in 2002 and uh, this found particular fountain pen was made in uh, three versions so i have the version with the blue resin as we you can see marked here it is a fountain pen in silver as i told you it has a limited production it was produced only in 808 pieces and my piece has the number 144 the only thing that it's not right on the box is the fact that i have an m nib and not an f nib f for fine this is a cardboard box and uh, on the front of it it has this large large painting which uh, you can see at uh, the louvre museum if i'm not mistaken and uh, it depicts uh, the coronation of napoleon as emperor of france uh, this happened on the 2nd of december in 1804 in the notre dame cathedral this is uh, josephine and this is uh, the pope Pius the seven from Rome interesting on this particular painting is that not the Pope but Napoleon he is placing the crown on his own head because he was the only person worthy to do it so this is the box I already shown you on the unboxing the content of the box but it's quite relevant for uh, a full uh, let's say review of this wonderful wonderful piece it also come it was delivered with this inkwell it is a delta inkwell also you can see personalized with the same uh, pa painting it has uh, this Artigiani della Scrittura, like a seal, which was present on official documents. Yes, you can see, of course, this was open the bottle, but no problems. I bought it as uh, it is. The only thing missing is a coin right here. It was made out of brass, if I'm not mistaken. And it showed the first coin stamped in by the King of Naples. And I will get to that story uh, in a few minutes. And those two leaflets. And I will take out the leaflets. And I will put the box aside. So this is the wonderful box. It came in. As I told you, it was available in several versions. And... Let me show you the version I have. So the version I have has this beautiful, beautiful blue, blue resin 
with the tendencies of mother of pearl it is wonderful and you can see all made out of silver at the end of it it has one part of the coin with the face of the emperor napoleon the other fountain pen which was also limited to 808 pieces has these parts made out of um, red acrylic also with tendencies of uh, mother of pearls in them but the end right here it has the other face of the coin which i believe it depicts an eagle i'm not so sure of course you can see on my fountain pen it is the number 144 of 808 total and of course there are there was also uh, some vermeer version which um, was also silver but uh, plated with 18 karat gold and that was limited to 18 uh, pieces of course at uh, a price uh, three times as much as this fountain pen when uh, when it came out in 2002 this fountain pen cost uh, was 1200 euros so quite quite an expensive piece back in 2002 interesting the name of the fountain pen is napoleon limited edition sterling silver piston filler fountain pen in blue so quite quite a large name uh, practically also on the leaflet we have uh, stated the reason for which delta uh, launched this fountain pen as the Italian lira fades into history and the euro becomes the standard of currency, Delta honors Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France and King of Italy, as the person responsible for today's single European currency. It was Napoleon who envisioned the single currency for Europe. On May the 6th, 1807, Napoleon wrote to the King of Naples, Brother, when you issue coins, I would like you to adopt the same valuations as in French money. In this way, there will be a great advantage for trade. The first lira was coined in Milan Mint in 808. Napoleon's efforts to create a common European currency died with him on the battlefield. But the lira became Italy's national currency after unification in 1816. The lira recent demise marks the true unification of Europe and the realization of Napoleon's dream. Interesting, like I told you, this is the fountain, the first fountain pen in Delta's history. So Delta was started in. Uh, 1992 and uh, after 20 years they launched the first fountain pen with a piston filling mechanism so this was the first in the history of delta it is a quite special special fountain pen what i like about this fountain pen is its attention to details and guys, I have here, sorry, I will put the box here. I put the leaflet on the box and I will put the notepad here, the inkwell here. I have here a beautiful, beautiful book about Napoleon. I want to share with you some of uh, its pages because we are going to talk about an interesting, interesting part of the first napoleon empire we are talking about uh, the great napoleon bonaparte and uh, this well-known conqueror of europe napoleon put a lot of importance to the style and symbolism of uh, its uh, empire you can see right on the book and we have also 
on the fountain pen. Let me show you. We have this great, great eagle. So this eagle was uh, borrowed from the Romans. In fact, it was a golden eagle that uh, was used on the top of the battle flags of the armies of Napoleon. All the fountain pen is full of uh, symbolism and uh, I will try to show you all of the symbolism and uh, the meaning of each and every little symbol of this fountain pen. But first of all, let me show you this uh, book. It is uh, dedicated to Napoleon. It is quite, quite nice, this book. And here we have the great eagle I wanted to show you. So this is the great eagle here. And other details about its life. Again, the eagle is very important. The campaign in uh, Egypt and all of the battles and symbolisms of um, this great, great leader, this great, great European leader. Well, this is a part of the book, and this book, uh, I believe it was printed in uh, Russia. It has the other side of <laughs> Kutuzov. This was a martial, uh, a Russian uh, martial, and uh, this is uh, its story. So it has the, the two parts. Of course, now we are going to talk about Napoleon. Returning to the fountain pen, let me start with the beautiful, beautiful cap. So, first of all, you must know that this clip is uh, replaceable. I'm not so sure if the clip is also sterling silver. We will uh, search it for some um, engravings, some hallmarks, and with this occasion we can see we have here also acrylic inside also acrylic it seems to have a little bit of crack here now i'm noticing it for the first time let me see in the light yes it's barely visible but mm, it is a little crack there so you can see the layer of silver and uh, it is quite thin. So uh, like I told you, this clip can be removed. I will uh, search it for imprints, but I believe this is not silver. I'm not so sure about it. And of course, you can uh, put it back like this and use it without the clip. Now I will put the clip back on and I hope that um, I think it was right here. Okay. Now, let me see. Gently, because I don't want to... Okay, let me put this right over here. It's interesting that you can um, adjust it wherever you want. Okay. So this is a famous, famous scene from a painting. Okay. And for Napoleon. And this is the sun. Maybe he used elements from other royalty. Uh, he was opposed to noblemen, but uh, um, I remember the King Louis the Fourteen, which was also king, uh, named nicknamed the Sun King. Here is interesting. This is a bee, and the bees are a symbol for rejuvenation and immunity 
This is an year 1804. This is the coronation and uh, he puts his crown on his own head like I already told you. Napoleon, the B and the year. Now let's look at the beautiful, beautiful barrel. I already shown you the eagle with uh, the two flares of lighting in uh, its uh, hands. And right over here, guys, we have another scene from a battle. Engraved on it, we have Delta, Delta Italy, Napoleon, a limited edition. We have the scepter, so the scepter of Charlemagne, which symbolizes the leadership. And uh, what can I say, guys? Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece. At the end, again, the 144 out of 808. This is a wonderful, wonderful piece. And uh, I like it a lot, guys. So let me show you in comparison with other fountain pens this is a quite quite a big uh, fountain pen and i will bring the camera right over here so um it is quite quite a big fountain pen in comparison with other fountain pens of course i will leave the dimensions on the screen in my opinion, it's not such a heavy, heavy fountain pen. It uh, certainly feels light, quite light. It's um, not a joke of a fountain pen, I'm telling you. So, the cap rotates like this. And it reveals a beautiful, beautiful grip section with the same material. Well, this material is quite quite nice and i hope that i can bring some light to it to show you how beautiful it is look at it only when you, you see it in the light of the sun you will know this is a wonderful wonderful piece in fact when i first bought it i thought to myself whoa what a nice looking piece it will be without the silver silver symbolism just do it all in this acrylic acrylic wonderful wonderful color but guys it is what it is i love the fact that we have this small concave section which gives us a grip point right over here i love uh, the plastic feed at the back of the nib it appears to be plastic but Judging by the texture here, it could be ebonite. I'm not so sure. I'm sorry guys for that. I couldn't find much information on the internet. We have on the side the M. We have again the Napoleon and uh, that uh, inspired by the Romans, uh, let's say, crown of um, leaves. And again, Delta, 18K and 750. This is a gold uh, nib, but it's chrome plated. And here, another hallmark, that star. And I think that the star is present also here. Look here. The same, the same look. Here, a star and 106 I believe it's a hallmark and uh, guys when I bought this fountain pen it was used so someone wrote with it 
and I certainly will ride with it, guys. First of all, let me leave on the screen the dimension of this beautiful, beautiful piece. And then I will do the writing sample. So, guys, I thought to myself that for uh, this fountain pen, I should use its uh, ink. And I was quite tempted by this. But judging by it, it is a plain, plain royal blue, let's say, ink, blue ink. So instead of that, guys, I will use a color of ink that reminds me of these beautiful acrylic endings. And this will be the Turquoise by Faber-Castell. So... I have here my notepad, I'll put it here, and guys, I'm quite uh, excited because I must uh, tell you that this is the first time that I fill it with ink. So before that, I used it only as a deep pan to, to see how smooth the nib is, and you'll be quite surprised when I start writing with it. So. Without further delay, let me open this ink bottle. I will give it a little shake like this. Let me prepare also a tissue. Okay, I have the tissue right here. Now gently opening it. Of course, it is designed to be posted. Let me see. And it posts right through here. And uh, I'm not so sure how to tell you, but mm, don't post it. As a matter of fact, if you see, saw its dimension, you will see that this weighs as much as the whole body. So the tendency is to be slightly misbalanced. But if you use it without the cap or put the cap there, I think uh, you will have a nice nice writer weighing only approximately 33 grams so quite quite a decent decent and able writer okay now i will open the ink bottle and for this i have uh, the uh, instructions still left here so this is the instructions for the detachable uh, cap and this is instruction for the piston filling system place nib and feeder completely inside inkwell turn as shown in a to expel air and remaining ink to refill turn as shown in b do not force if it stops let me see if i got this right so first i will put it in ink now i will turn this till it stops okay it stopped now on the other side till it stops okay Gently, gently put back the excess of ink. Now I will clean it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, guys, I will put it gently right over here. Okay. Now I will close the ink bottle. And I am ready for the writing sample. So maybe for the writing sample, it is better to change the angle of the camera. And I will change the angle of the camera. Let me see. Okay, I have completely changed the angle of the camera. Now I'm ready to write with it. So. Mm, 
this is a delta Napoleon limited edition Napoleon limited edition sterling silver piston fill so piston fill okay fountain pen This was made in Italy in 2002. This was number 144 of 808. And by the way, guys, this is the blue resin version of this Wellswell fountain pen. Okay, the initial price was about, uh, I'm not so sure, but uh, oh, I can check it on the internet. It was 1,000 US dollars or euros. I'm not so sure, but quite, quite a high price back then. The ink I am using, it's a Faber Castell. Turquoise ink. Okay, guys. The nib of this wonderful, wonderful pen is an 18 carat 750 gold nib. The, MO, uh, the size of the nib is M, M for medium. And let me check out, let me see, I will give you a little zoom here, guys, to see if we have some line variation. Definitely not a steep nib, but I can't call it a flex nib, so no flex here. Let me check out the line variation, so here no pressure, and here a little bit of pressure, so no visible line variation it seems to be quite quite a juicy nib let me show you okay now let me see if i can reverse right with it so reverse writing definitely a possibility it doesn't scratch and I would call it an F, a fine reverse writing. Okay, I'm uh, impressed. Maybe not for long periods of time, but you can certainly for short periods of time reverse write with your uh, beautiful nib from Delta. Now, signature. Quite nice at signature. And... Let me see what else, what else I can do with it to show you how wonderful it uh, writes. Yes, so I'm done with it. Let me tell you about the... I hope it will focus the quick brown fox jumps on the lazy dog so this is it guys it's a smooth smooth writer i love it a lot it's not only a work of art if you know what i mean 
it certainly is a beautiful 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 fountain pen to be sincere with you guys when i first started collecting i thought to myself that limited edition fountain pens were uh, unobtainium like uh, i will never have the money to afford such a beautiful beautiful piece and in fact also this piece that um, by the way guys let me tell you what it cost because it cost uh, quite quite a large sum of money approximately four thousand and five hundred lace which means roughly 900 euros or let's say uh, 1100 american dollars i hope that i did the conversion right but i didn't have uh, this sum of money so i had to trade approximately 14 pieces of rare rare fountain pens from my collection but guys believe me it was worth it it's a perfect fountain pen no it's not a perfect fountain pen but this is a grail grail fountain pen look at those details i like it a lot this is what i can tell you about this wonderful wonderful piece such attention to details such well well uh, crafted a little material here we have nine to five silver so what can i say guys a wonderful wonderful piece and uh, like i told you the seller which was uh, also a co great collector for my country mr cartoon which i uh, salute I thank you for giving me this opportunity to own this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. In fact, it has a nice story. I believe that uh, this Napoleon and the Napoleon of um, Mr. Crachun are the only two Delta limited editions fountain pens in Romania from the whole bunch of 808 produced in this blue resin. And of course, I'm one of the proud owners of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, writing instrument. Of course, I will write with it, but uh, mainly I will keep it as a display piece. You know that I have that philosophy. Uh, a fountain pen is a writing instrument. It is not an investment, but it is a writing instrument. So it should fulfill is uh, its basic uh, utility side so this is uh, uh, writing and believe me this is a swell swell writer so it's not just a display piece never to be inked never to be uh, utilized so guys thank you for your time it was a wonderful 2021 i am grateful for all of my subscribers with reach 2200 i believe so a large large uh, subscriber base and i thank you each and every one for your um, time thank you for your time and uh, have a wonderful day wherever you are guys i uh, want to thank you for being part of this wonderful wonderful journey it was a hard time for me i had some health issues but uh, i tried to invest time in this channel and bring you new and exciting content i know i'm a lucky collector when i can show you this beautiful beautiful piece one of the reasons that uh, I got this piece is because of this YouTube channel. So believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, guys, and everything could uh, happen. Again, thank you for your time. I'm sorry that this review took so long, but uh, I'm amazed of the beautiful craftsmanship of this Italian piece. And I can tell you, till now, I thought the Mont Blanc 149 was the 
top of the quality of a solution of a fountain pen but when you held in your hands these beautiful beautiful uh, italian pieces whoa you will be amazed they are not perfect but they are beautiful uh, in their own way i wish you to stay healthy in this pandemic time bye bye and god bless